Hey YouTubers, guitar lovers and haters and skeptics of the world out there. Yes, I'm doing an update on my uh, Epiphone Wilshire that is getting sent back to the factory to have the warranty uh, checked. They're going to evaluate the guitar and see if they're going to fix it, give me a new one, or tell me, screw you, I don't know. But the neck is twisted. And uh, I found this out because I, I lowered my action. You know, I took it down to... Because uh, I've, I've always had this set at factory setting. Because I only really use it for rhythm and stuff, not lead, you know. And uh, I decided I'm dropping this baby down to 464 and 364. Or, you know, standard 5 and 464 you know but i go to achieve that and i couldn't or i couldn't achieve that and that's <laughs> how how i started getting the string bows and i started looking and i'm like what the heck man i you know put the capo on the first fret and then i checked the relief and everything and that's when i noticed only relief you know how how it was on the e and a and nothing on the treble you know so it's definitely it's twisted this way <laughs> So it's going back. I wanted to do a update. It's going back. Uh, I got all the information sent to me. I got the RMA uh, return merchandise authorization for this to go back to Gibson in Tennessee. And then uh, I got the UPS uh, label. So they want me to box it up. Or, you know, stick it in a case. And, but I ain't sticking it in the case because the cases that I have are for just around the house and going to a buddy's house. They ain't for traveling, man. These cheap cases do not trust a cheap case for traveling. <laughs> so I, I'm not using the case, you know. Using the box is good enough, you know. And uh, they'll accept the box. But I, I got a an Epiphone uh, box for the guitar uh, and then another box is going over the top of that but I got a, a guitar sock around the guitar I got styrofoam underneath the guitar in this area and uh, I got the styrofoam covering and then I got it rubber band strapped I'm all protected, you know, the front or the top and the bottom. And then I'll have it on the sides too. Once I put the box top over this, I'll put styrofoam pieces in there. But what they want inside the box, they want this at concert pitch. So it has to be sent in tune. I don't understand that. Every guitar that we buy and get out of a box is not in tune. So why are they telling me to tune this up to concert pitch? Don't make sense, man. It's weird. All the guitars we get, every single one of them, we got to tune them up. They're, they loosen the strings coming from the factory. So why are they telling me to tune this up to pitch? That, that's weird. But anyway, I'm going to do it. <laughs> that's why I, I opened up the box back up because I, I loosened up the strings. So now i got to freaking take it all, all this apart and tune it up <laughs> I don't it just don't make sense man so I'm gonna do that and then uh, what they want is my name address all that inside the box uh, proof of purchase my re receipt I got to throw a copy of that in there then I got to write what's wrong with it you know I'll tell them what's wrong with it and, and uh, I'll ship it off. I'll close it all up and then off to UPS. I'm going to take it to UPS uh, shop tomorrow and then uh, they'll send it off. And then uh, I'll keep you guys updated on, you know, what what's, what what Epiphone's going to do. Are they going to tell me I'm screwed or are they going to fix it or give me a new one? I don't know. But, yeah, I'm just doing a, a series on this to show, you know, my experience for the first time getting a guitar with a twisted neck and going back to the factory usually it's you know 
if I do a return, it's a in-store return, but being as we're four months past my year, this is a year and four months old, five months old, it has to go back to the factory. So, so I'm just doing this uh, series on how it all goes, and you guys can see, you know, a factory return and <clears throat> see what the factory says to me. But yeah, I'll uh, take this guitar back out, tune it up, and put it all how I got it. And then I'm going to, you know, I got a styro piece of styrofoam that goes on the top here. I'm putting on this, this piece of styrofoam. We'll cover it, and then I'll put the box top on, and then the other box over that. And we should be good to go. But I'll, uh, yeah, once again, thanks for subscribing to my cheesy channel, man. Every time I look, I got another subscriber or two, man. I can't thank you enough, man. I I can't thank you enough. It's, it's awesome, man. And uh, I'm glad to have you in here and everything. And I enjoy all the, the shop talk we talk and all the stuff we talk about, whatever, you know, watching each other's channels, it, it's awesome, man, you guys are great, every single one of you, man, but I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video, man, I just want to show you the update, it's, it's heading off tomorrow, heading to Gibson, <laughs> but I'll catch you guys uh, on the next video, Elvis has left the building.